guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I am at a truck stop. Well, actually I'm at a rest stop. I'm on my way to Canada. Gotta put my seatbelt on. Had to stop for a little potty break. And the, and the sun is finally up. It's 8 a.m. I've already had most of a venti Starbucks. And now I'm working on some water because that's important. Okay, I'm headed to Canada. I am in Ohio still, somewhere north towards, I think Akron Canton area, headed towards Erie, PA, and then to New York, and then over the border. I am going across the Peace Bridge. That's what my app tells me. And that is what I signed up. I'm just moving my backpack. I signed up on my app for Canada, Arrive Kin. So I'm excited. I wanted to bring you along. And yeah, we're just driving. I have, looking at my map here. I have. Head northeast toward I-271 North. For this route crosses our country border. Verify Kobe 19 restrictions. I have four hours and 35 minutes. So I'm not going straight to the hotel. Check-in time is not until three. I will arrive in Canada about one, one thirty. but I'm going to do a little shopping. I'm going to go to a store called a little bit of Britain. I definitely am hitting a Dollarama. Um, I'm going to, I think, Canadian Tire and see what else is around that little area. I'm looking for a Dollar Tree as well. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I need candy to bring back for my family for Easter. Um, I need souvenirs. I need Tim Hortons because, you know, you can't be in Canada and not have Tim Hortons. If you're not aware, Tim Hortons was... Um, founded by a hockey player, Tim Horton. It's him. It's true. Now it's owned by a conglomerate, but um, it was started by a hockey player in Canada. So I have to go to their Tim Hortons and I heard their coffee up there is better than ours and our donuts are better than theirs. So I'm not having a donut because, but I am, oh my hair, I am having coffee. So we gotta get driving. I have a bit of a headache. It's raining, sinuses. So I just took some ibuprofen. I have to get my wallet out because I'm gonna be crossing some toll roads soon. Yeah, if I remember, I'll turn the camera on and record the border crossing. But I have everything ready. I have my shot record. I will show you, I sent away for this. It says pro science, pro health, pro vaccine, and it holds my my vaccine card. <laughs> so I got this. Um, oh, I just found out apparently I can get another booster, but, and this is something everybody needs to keep in mind, I can't do it until after I get my um, mammogram. So if you're having a mammogram, you shouldn't have your booster before it or you have to wait like six weeks in order to, I was looking at receipts, in order to um, get a mammogram. So what I'll do when I get home is I will first do my mammogram and then I will do my COVID booster. Nobody cares. <laughs> I'm just tired. I've been up since 5 a.m. All right, I will talk with you later. Bye. Okay, guys, we just crossed into Ontario, Canada, where I think I'm speeding. <laughs> Let's slow down. I have to go 80 kilometers a mile. So if you don't know, in Canada, we go by the kilometer. So 80 is 50 miles an hour. And I have 97 kilometers to the hotel. Well, to the store. How exciting! We're in Canada! 
feel like I need to sing, oh Canada. No, because I don't know the words. I only ever hear the national anthem at hockey games. Okay, I need to slow down because I'm speeding again. All right, I better pay attention. And I'm also looking for a Tim Horton. So let's find coffee. All right, guys, here's my room. The bathroom, yeah, I already used a sink. <laughs> Showers over there. Ah, oh, this is a very lovely hotel. There's a refrigerator, microwave, coffee station, some greenery stuff. Two beds, but I only need one. I've already been to Dollarama. There's my luggage. And yeah, this is the room over here look at the size of this television i don't even watch tv but you know maybe we will uh, and then the view well it's the highway i think or some road and that's some courtyard i don't know but there is a costco yeah so we're in canada guys Yes, I've already been to Tim Hortons. But look at this awesome cup. The maple leaf. And the and there's my light I'm charging. And here's the other view. Morning, everybody. Okay, it's Friday morning. It's snowing. Flurry, not really snowing. It's going to be 8 Celsius. So it's like in the 40, I think. I think you're supposed to add two, three degrees plus 30. So 33 degrees. So like 40, 41 today. I'm going to go metric instead of imperial. Oh, I'm putting on my shoes. Hold on. Okay. Tennis shoes. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, guys. I'm by myself. I know, I'm socially awkward. It's 7.30 and really what I would like is some coffee, which is why I'm going downstairs. I did bring this stuff to make coffee, but ugh, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna get registered. I'm gonna grab a cup of coffee and then maybe go sit in the lobby and see if I can meet anybody. I did talk to people last night. I did, I sat in the lobby and I talked to people just nervous this morning. I can do this. We can do this, guys. I'm having a lot of fun. I've been to two Dollaramas already, maybe three, I can't remember. Two, I think. There's one right across the street though, so that'll be three Dollaramas to do a really fun haul for you guys. And there's a Michaels and a Dollar Tree, I think I need to go try and find. Maybe today at lunchtime, I'll take a run. Um, for that. And then, yeah, we're just going to stitch. I don't know how much videoing I can do downstairs. I'm not sure if people will be comfortable being on, on a vlog, but I can share with you how my day goes. Um, and what I got, cause I'm going to buy some stuff so I can share that with you as well. Like what I've purchased here at the retreat. And I did pre-buy a project kit. So this is not it, but this is from um ever tote caroline who's running the retreat this is one of her project bags so if you're on the look out i would go to evertote.com and it came with this little look at the little fish bones so it comes it came with a little um a little bag and then this is the floss for the project that i'm working on but i'm not taking this project down today because this is a little big for what I'm working on, but I wanted to show you. And the inside is this like color. Look at the cats. So I bought this last year from Caroline because of the cats. So I ordered a kit that I'll get this morning and yeah, I'm excited. My mess behind me. All right, stop procrastinating, Lori, and go get your coffee. That will always make me feel better. Okay, I'll be back. Hi, guys. Okay, it's Saturday night. I'm going to be going home in the morning. 
I'm a terrible vlogger, but I was having so much fun. I do have some footage at the end of the meet of the banquet room and a couple things, but nothing of any importance. I got some Canadian Tim Horton iced coffee, but I want to show you a few things. I will have an entire video on um, the stitchy stuff that I bought, and then I will have another entire video on Dollarama. I love Dollarama. Um, so, stitchy stuff. I, I stitch this. It's busy. Queen Bee, it's called, is the pattern, and I bought it like last week. It's new. And I just grabbed some DMC, white, yellow, black, and I stitched this while I was here. So what I'm gonna do when I get home is put my name under here and something up here maybe, and this will be my name tag for next year's retreat. How exciting is that? But I love it. So I finished that while I was here and then I'm working on another project. And then we had a smalls exchange. This is not a small, Alicia. I love it. So the bag had a caution warning on it and I said, well, that's right up my alley. So it's definitely Canadiana and the inspired. Those are maple leaves. And it's gonna be hard for me to show you, but let's see if I can. I'm moving the camera down here. You move this out for a second. We're gonna be doing some adjusting. Okay. So when you take the lid off, the box opens up. Guys, is this not fantastic? Then she stitched this and it says Stitch North, O Canada, April 1st to 3rd, 2022. What? And then she stitched some maple leaves on the top and the bottom says where stitchers gather in friendship. Is that not fantastic? So this is like a pin cushion pillow. And then on the inside of here, I can store all of my stuff. This will hold like pieces of floss. And then these are Maple Leaf O Canada scissors. And on here, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but those are little maple leaves. Like what? And then, um, over here, she got me, these are Easy Guide Ball Tip Needles, size 28, so it's a two pack of, midi, of stitching needles, and they have the ball tip, so they're not pokey. So I have to try those. And then over here, there's a little loop, and on here I have this for my scissors, and it's just a pretty little key fob, or scissor fob. These are like a, a hard plastic floss drops. Like what? These are fantastic. So they will hold one color each and then you can write on here with um, a Sharpie and then take rubbing alcohol and get it off if you wanna change colors. So she sent me a bunch of those on here. And then this floss is called 11 points because the maple leaf has 11 points on it and so this is a canadian or canada color i don't know if you'll be able to see the color variation but there's reds and pink and oh i love it this is so exciting and then on this big ring so i can keep everything together how exciting so we didn't know our smalls partner we just went up to the table and were able to pick something up and i was like well I'm gonna be a great greedy Greta and grab a big bag and it said caution on it. So when I get home, I can put this on my table. I can flip that over, display it however I want. And then this is a working stitching box. How exciting. And then when I'm not utilizing it, I can close the lid. Oh, and this is a needle a needle minder and there's a magnet in here so I can switch it out. How crazy. Guys, I I was emotional. I was going to cry that I was so excited to receive this. And it was just, you know, here I'll bring you back in. It was just grab, you know, you just grabbed it. Ah. I'm back. I dropped. 
Thank you. Anyway, you just went up to the table and I left my smalls exchange on the table and then that was when it was my turn, I went up and I picked and there was this was in a bag. Oh, and oh, and some maple candies that I'll bring home for Sarah because I can't have them. So, oh, I'm tired today. It's been very so fun, so exciting, and just a tad bit overstimulating, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, you're coming off of COVID lockdowns and at home, and now I'm here and there's lots of people. So I had to take a little decompression break in my room. I'm moving you back now. So I came upstairs to unpacking. So that bag there is all the stuff I was purchased or given since I've been here. And that's my purse over there. And then my luggage. And I'm just trying to collect everything because I have to leave in the morning. And I don't want to go to bed super early because I want to stay up and stitch with friends. So, oh, I love this. So if you're a cross stitcher, I'm going to go home and add some gold. Um, sparkly floss over the black. And then maybe I'll do my name in gold. I don't know. But... This is going to be for next year's name badge because I'm coming back next year. And if you're in Canada and you're a cross-stitcher, Carolyn said she is doing this next year. Faux show. And um, it'll be sometime in the summer. I think they're trying to finalize that. I wonder if my... If I have it in here, I don't, it's downstairs. Um, so, and I have some at home to show you too. So if you like um, hand dyed floss, so it's like hand dyed yarn, but it's floss. She has a partnership with Leo and Roxy who also do yarn, but they do, they're doing floss. And so I joined it and got into the, um, Floss of the Month Club. I know. So I have two months of floss to show you when I get home. So I'll do that during my haul videos and all of that. So what's happening now is I got to go back downstairs in a minute. And we are going to, there's going to be a drawing tonight and then some more stitching. I'm working on a, it's called the Prairie Schooler Santa. And I definitely need to show you more of my crafty bits that I, that I work on. And I think I'll make a pro, uh, an effort to do that but if any of you are going to be here next year let me know because it'll be so much fun and i will be here all right i'm going downstairs i will talk with you probably in the morning or maybe before i go to bed and then we're going to drive seven hours home okay i'll talk with you it's snowing <laughs> you have to be in canada and have snow right Okay, we're getting ready to cross the border back into the United States. I've got my passport, my ID, any cash, because I did hit a toll going that way. I also tried to hit Tim Hortons before coming off of the, hitting the border, but I'm, I don't know, I missed it. Well, it took me to a Tim Hortons and that Tim Hortons was closed. It was at some duty-free shop. I don't need any more shopping. I've bought enough. Wait till you see my haul. But I want you to experience, if you've never crossed a border with me, what it's like to cross the border into Canada. I'm out of coffee. I will stop at the first coffee shop I see on the state side. Canadian coffee, American coffee, I don't care. But I will tell you, Tim Horton coffee is different than American, on the Canadian side, than it is on the American side. The taste of the coffee is different. Um, from what I understand, the Canadian side has better coffee, and the U.S., which I do agree with, and the U.S. side has better donuts. I wouldn't know that, because I don't eat the donuts. It is 1046 and my phone just notified me that I switched over to miles. So I must be technically in the US. I haven't crossed the border yet, but I've been driving in kilometers. 
which is interesting. So on your odometer or your speedometer, the little numbers on the inside are your kilometers. So I had to find 100 kilometers an hour is approximately 60 miles per hour. And I'm used to doing much faster, but I tried to stay around the 70 and then I just stayed with traffic. So that was interesting, you know, to take a minute to to grasp that I'm going to go kilometers per hour and not miles per hour. And also, uh, it seemed like U-turns were legal in a lot of places. Um, that kind of made me a little anxious. Not anxious, but in Ohio, they're not legal unless they say otherwise. So they'll, they may say in Ohio, okay, have photo identification ready for inspect. Oh. I have to stop and I have to have my oh okay passport ready I don't know what's happening I think I'm being scanned I don't know guys so and when you cross the border if you have a fun passport case like I do I have a gold case. Um, they want you to take it out. They scan your passport. So I'll store it in a passport case, but don't take it out. It's not a big deal. They just ask you questions like, where you been? What did you buy? And I'll say, well, what I bought was some candy and a little bit of craft supplies. Okay, I'm next. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Can I see your passport? Thanks. You're a U.S. citizen? I am. What's the reason for the trip? I came up for a cross-stitching retreat. Oh, what? Cross-stitching? Oh, crafting. cross-stitching. Okay. Yeah. How was that? It was fun. I had a great time. Good. How long were you up there for? Uh, three days. Any items to declare that you're returning with today? I just bought a little bit of candy. Okay, all set. Take care. Thank you so much. Have a great day. That is it. I just crossed the border back into the United States. Now I'm home. Okay, hold on, I gotta find. Take the ramp on the left to I-190 South. 190 South, okay, I needed to know where I was going. And now I'm in, well, one second, I will be in New York State. Now we're in, in New York State. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-190 South. And I'm merging on I-190 South. Hi guys, so I'm home. I have no idea where I left off filming because I haven't uploaded those videos yet, but I wanted to give you kind of a wrap up and a little synopsis with how the weekend went. So I'm pretty sure I brought you along when I drove up. So we got to the retreat, everybody got registered. Well, Thursday night we got there. I met some folks in the lobby and then on Saturday, we picked tables and my table mates were Lisa, Devette, Deborah, Melita, and me. I think that was all of us. Debbie, Lisa, Devette, Melita, and me. Yes, there was five of us at my table. We sat together on all day Friday and Saturday. And what we did all day was we worked on projects. I started and finished one, which I don't have with me, but when I show you the haul video, cause I'll have a couple more videos up from my Canada, but there's one that has all of my purchases that I made at Stitch North. I'm at the end, there is some quick videos that I took and there's some pictures of me and my table mate and with Caroline and Matt and Hannah who put on the retreat. It was fantastic. I had so much fun. I'm making my list now. So I packed certain things, like I took coffee and my French press and all the things. And did I need the coffee? No. They had coffee out from 7 a.m. until 11 p.m. So I didn't need to bring coffee. And as long as Caroline has that next year, I won't need to pack coffee. Um, so I'm just making a list for future Lori when I go to get set up next year. I do want to pack bottled water, some big bottles of life water, like 32 ounces. I'll pack like four of those and that will be perfect. Um, I'm going to get a bag chair. So we were sitting on banquet chairs 
it is what it is. That's what the hotel has to offer. But after two days of sitting on that chair, my tailbone was sore. So I'm gonna get a camping chair and just bring it with me because I find those very comfortable and they're reasonably inexpensive. Um, I purchased, and I will show you during my haul video, but I purchased a light and a magnifier that is rechargeable because we didn't have outlets. And the one I bought was on Amazon. If I remember, I'll put a link when I show you the light, but it was only like $20 and it was perfect. The only thing I need to do is park, pack a couple charging bricks. Um, it didn't quite last all day when I used it for the whole entire day. But I found that if I brought something on like a 16 count Ada, it was large enough for me to see the hole. So I really didn't, I didn't need the light and the, and the magnifier all day. But just in case, I don't know where I'll be working on, I have two charging bricks, so I will pack those. Um, the trail bologna and cheese worked well. And yogurt. I'm writing it down as I talk to you. So what I did is I got that ring of trail bologna and a block of cheese and I pre-cut it and that, I ate that Thursday night for dinner. I had it for some dinner on Saturday night. I had it for a snack and then I had it on the way home. It worked out perfect and I even had extra when I got home and I kind of tossed it at that point. I figured it had lived its life. And then I brought a four pack of yogurt and I brought some cupcakes, but next year maybe I'll do granola with my yogurt. And, oh, drink mixes. I need drink mix-ins um, for the water, just because I like them. So that, and I didn't bring, I didn't bring those. Um, Clothing-wise, I wore leggings and like a long shirt two days and it was perfectly fine. I did bring an outfit in case I wanted to go out for dinner. I didn't need it. But again, it was fine. I brought medicine. I did wear makeup. I did my hair. So all of that worked out well. I brought table gifts. I need to up my game on my smalls exchange, which is perfectly fine. And I got to start working on table mate gifts because that was so fun to have and I had extra to share. But it was so much fun, so much fun. I think I brought the right amount of projects, plus there was plenty of opportunity to buy projects while I was there. Um, I don't think I would bring more. I just brought little ones that were super easy to work on that I didn't really have to think too hard. And I talked a lot because that's what I do. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do a monthly crafty check-in. Like I do my budget check-in and life, I'm gonna try to do a crafty check-in with whatever cross stitches I'm working on or whatever knitting I'm working on. And it might even be as much as I record a video here and I record a little video here and then I piece them all together. That may happen next month. We'll see with what I'm working on in April because I did buy a lot of fun projects to take care of and to start. Plus I'm knitting some stuff. So yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna try to do like a crafty check-in once a month with just whatever, whatever I'm working on at the time, handicrafts, not DIYs. So I got home yesterday at about 3.30, four, no, 4.15 and got everything unpacked, got a shower and went to bed at like eight o'clock cause I was tired. The drive wasn't terrible. It was about six and a half, seven hours. I was work. I, I know that I ended one video with I'm going to show you the water. I could see the water when I crossed over Niagara. So it was either Lake Erie or the Niagara River or something. And I could see it, but coming back, I couldn't see it. I might have smuggled back a Kinder egg, a real Kinder egg from Canada. Don't tell the police. And if you don't know, it's a candy. They're illegal here. There's, I'm going to open it for you and I show you the haul that I purchased and I'll show you why they're illegal here in the United States. We have Kinder Surprise eggs, which are a little different than the original Kinder egg that they sell in Europe and in Canada. So that was everything. I hope it's going to be pieced together. I'm sorry I was just so busy and I was enjoying myself so much. I didn't want to stop and and record videos, but I think I got some basics down for you guys and maybe next year I'll be able to do a little more. 
All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this recap. Next up will be two haul videos, one of all the things I bought at the retreat, all the crafty bits, and one I went to several Dollaramas, which is a, it's a store in Canada, and it's sort of like a Five Below meets a Deals or a, um, Dollar General or Family Dollar, those type of stores, um, but cleaner and nicer and better stuff. But I stopped at four of them and I got a great variety of stuff to share with you that I bought in Canada and everything at their store is up to $4. I think they said it was going to be going up to $5 this spring, but so right now the highest price, so it's even like a Dollar Tree Plus, but the highest price is $4. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with you later. Bye. Excel on the track.